Mudrooms are such a popular trend in interior design right now. They really provide a great space for a family to just have all the stuff that they bring into the house and gather it so that it doesn't end up being scattered through the house. So today we're going to look at three different mudrooms and just the different aspects and elements that we considered when planning these spaces. When we started the process of designing this mudroom, we wanted it to be, of course, functional, good storage, but also it needed to be pretty because you could see it from the main living area. So we wanted to always kind of want to provide storage for shoes and jacket. That's your main goal. In this space, we didn't have enough room to have like hangers to hang coats up because the room was narrow. So we are just using the hooks, which is very typical for a mudroom because it's just so easy and user friendly. And then higher up, we usually store less used items like toques and scarves and gloves we use rattan doors they just add a really interesting texture to the room we use different finishes to create some interest so we <laughs> It's nice to have a seat if you can have it in your mudroom to sit and put your shoes on as well. Any kind of drawer is great for shoes because then the shoes are concealed, but also shelves work great to just get the shoes off the floor. We used a really dark, durable floor and then a really lovely washable runner to just trap some of that dirt and then you can throw the runner in the washing machine, which is great. So it's become a really practical space and yet quite a beautiful space at the same time. In this mudroom, we have a large space, so we were able to plan it carefully and just pack everything that we wanted to include in a mudroom into this space. So we have lots of storage for pet supplies, we have a basket for sanitizer and masks. The higher up storage is for less used items. We've got places for displaying the kids' accomplishments and trophies. And what we did in this room was we had one room that was for the kids and one side of the room that was for the adults. So the side of the room that was for the kids, we just kept it very easy and open because kids don't typically close a door or close a drawer. So we just had it very user friendly. There's lots of hooks to hang all sorts of jackets on. There's lots of space to store musical instruments, um, hooks for backpacks. There's drawers for the shoes. There's also a great bench to sit down. So it really works well for the kids. And then on the other side of the room, we have more the adult storage, which is all behind closed doors um, because adults are typically more capable of closing a door. Right by the door to the garage, we store keys, umbrella, anything that you need to grab as you're running out the door. If you have the space, it's nice to have a mirror in the mudroom and also a clock so you can be sure to be on time. Have a little check before you run out the door. And again, because we have the space, I've liked to include a little like motivational quote for the family to keep them encouraged and going. We also have a really great durable tile floor, a washable runner, and so it just functions really well for a family. Not all homes have a specific room set aside to have a mud room that's right off the garage and a place that you can dump all your stuff. So a really good alternative would be to add some storage to your garage. If that's the area that you're coming into the house, you can use some stuff from your local hardware store or Ikea some built-ins and just create some hooks and some bins, some shelves, some drawers to just collect all of that stuff before coming into the house. It's nice to have some closed storage if you're able to do that so it doesn't look so messy, but for the most part, you know, the family really does better when it's open and accessible and easy to use. It doesn't take much in order to achieve some storage solution inside the garage and that way it'll just gather some of the mess before entering in the house. If you're looking to plan a mudroom, I hope these tips were helpful for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.